Christian and Wana Wanachi Washington, I think it is. See more better with free prescription lenses.com. But call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm have you seen Mo Better, look at Mo Better, and show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling. Back to glasses. When I cut non prescription lenses with anti glare for anyone know what these are? Oakley Frog Skins size 55 color 24 which is the polished clear i have never seen such a small oakley box most oakley boxes are this size in fact i got it out to check and see you can put these frog skins on the inside of a regular oakley box how adorable is that by the way i apologize for if i didn't pronounce wanachi is that how it's pronounced in fact washington how about that in fact I don't even know if I'm spelling or pronouncing Washington right. I used to work with a guy when I first started in the optical field, and he pronounced it Washington. So, who knows? All right, let me get this box out of the way so I don't confuse myself. Again, this is the Oakley Frog Skin Model Number 9013, color 24. The lens is 305. That's the violet iridium lens that I'm going to take out to put in your non-prescription lenses. Now, he wears these while at work just to protect his eyes. And, of course, this is the Oakley cleaning cloth slash carrying bag. And they come with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple. And, again, this is color 24. 305 is the color of the lens. This frame comes in about a dozen colors. This is in the 55 eye size, 17 bridge, 139 temple length that has the Oakley emblem on both sides and of course it says frog skins and crystal on the inside it's hard to see it's got that red emblem made usa made that's right so i'm gonna pop out the original demo lenses that came in here and mail them to you you got that purple royalty color and i'm gonna put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker program the shape into the computer 2123 and hit start a little stylus is going to pop up and go around trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality you buy any genuine authentic oakley frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses my receipt has my federal id tax number so if you have unused vision insurance or health savings account flex dollars you will get reimbursed for this purchase when you submit with your insurance or flex dollars i also want to back up and say yes i am an authorized oakley dealer i've just been told that as a small independent optician i'm not legally allowed to post pictures of the frames with prices on my website so do like christian did holler at me let me know what frame what size what color you want i'll get your price and availability and tell you how long it's going to take me and that's how we do it so where am i at oh yeah so if these were prescription lenses i would dot them up in my lensometer i don't have to i'm going to take them out of the original protective sleeves that they come in now this could be the right lens this could be the left lens it does not matter this time i can spin them around it doesn't matter i can do whatever this time as long as it stays within this green outline that shows up let me minify that down it's got to just be inside there so i'm going to actually we'll keep it small to get it centered perfectly grab two blocks or as i like to call them jenny from the block i need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting so i need a double-sided adhesive sticker which i've got here I'm going to pull that the black side is the sticky side i'm going to stick that onto the first block throw that on the platform do the same thing now for the second one pull the paper away to make the black side sticky that magnet is that silver button is a magnet it's going to do its job twice the first time it's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm hit the button the arm's going to come down place the block onto what will be the right lens we're going to do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right just like me Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky and line up the magnet. Make sure the lens is centered in there perfectly. Hit the button. The arm's going to come down just so I don't get them confused. I'm going to make this one the right lens. And if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. <laughs> you are not getting away without me telling that joke somewhere in the video. So I'm going to pull this up into the computer, job ID number 2123. 
21, 23. So years from now, should you ever need prescription lenses or any type of sunglass lenses, transitions, transitions extra active with the mirror coating, I can mail them right to your home and you can pop them in after watching this video. Now, these are polycarbonate lenses. They were plastic, high index plastic, or Trivex. I would select that. We're going to stick with polycarbonate because it's the safest lens material out there. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens. I'm only going to put a safety bevel on the rear concave surface of the lens. The actual cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away your lens material from this size down to this size. This wheel in the center, that channel, that bevel, that's what's going to put the V-shaped bevel on the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. I'm going to, whoop, now the mag, press it on there firmly. The magnet's going to do its job a second time. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck. Or by now, you know I like to call it the Charles because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. So, hit the green start button. The door closes. The dirty door you think if I knew I was going to have company coming over, I would have cleaned that, but uh, the lens is going to be traced by artists formerly known as Two White Stylists. <laughs> now they're a little dingy. Go around tracing the shape of the right lens, measuring the thickness of the lens at every point on the second go around to know exactly precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which, Christian, you ain't going to have none because these are non prescription lenses going into a thick plastic frame. When I say thick, it's thicker than a skinny metal frame, so you'll have no edge thickness whatsoever. As I'm in the light flickering in the background is water to catch the optical sawdust, which will be known as Shore for the rest of this video. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry were plastic, high index plastic, and Trivex cut wet, meaning the water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Now water will spray onto your lens, Christian, but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away any optical debris that you may see happen to form now. But as I mentioned, your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which are 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They're virtually unbreakable. You like that? I can do that with my other right hand too. They're, what am I saying, virtually unbreakable. They're high impact ballistics grade lenses, the same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel and from flying debris. They also have 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin there in Washington where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes. Unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that need to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun. Now water has begun spraying onto the lens, which tells me that uh, it's in the last 20 seconds. The little lever is going to come out. At the end of that lever is a spinning disc, which is a very, very fine grid of sandpaper that's going to grind away or smooth out any rough surfaces left over from the cutting surface. Now, should these lenses protrude from the back of the frame, which they won't, but I do cut stronger lenses for how much? For free, all day long. And should any portion of the lens come from, from the back surface of the frame onto your cheek, it would be nice and smooth. But the reason I do it, even though when the lenses won't be exposed, you like that I open that door with my mind. I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I just have to stare at it for a couple hours. Yeah, I know you moan at that joke, but you'll be telling it tomorrow. So I'm gonna make sure that all the optical debris is off the edge of the lens. The reason why I put the safety bevel on the back surface of the lens, that as I mount your lens into the frame, by the way, Christian, should you ever need new lenses for this frame? I have the side I'm working on closest to me. I tuck it in at the outside corner first. Use my thumbs, press down the nose, it snaps in easily. But just in case this were too large, and to take it out, I, I tell everyone, thumb your nose to the idea with your thumb at the nose, and I put my other thumb on top, grab the lens so it doesn't fall out, press out with your thumb, press downward, and it will pop right out. But the reason why I press down here is that's the thickest part of the frame. But uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, the reason why I put the polished the the safety bevel not polished edges but the safety bevel is that should this be too large and i press down at the edge i don't want to mar any tiny half a millimeter going around the edge of your lenses 
So we're going to flip that over to L. Line up the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby. The chuck -arama, or tonight I'm calling it the Christian. Hit the green start button. Just like before, the door closes, the clamp shuts. It will be traced again by the two white styluses. Almost white, dingy white. Okay, same color as my teeth. And it's going around tracing the shape of the left side of the frame. And just like before, measuring the thickness of the lens to know where to place the bevel for the least amount of edge thickness of which, Christian, you got nothing. Now, I can also reprogram that. I can move the bevel if I want it forwards or backwards. I know that's the opposite direction of my hands. If I move the bevel forwards, it'll make the lens sit back in the frame. If I move the bevel backwards, it'll make the lens sit forward in the frame. Although, I don't know why I would do that. Because I can. So take the block off, dry that off in my hand. We're gonna do the old finger roll. Oh, missed, rebound, rebound. There we go, I get the three pointer on that one. Add to my sticker collection. Come down here, read the prescription. And I'm getting, I'm getting lost, there it is. Zero, no power, Plano, which is just another city in Texas. But it, this is known as final inspection. I'm just making sure that they were cut perfectly. And they were. But I have to do that every day for how much? Free prescription lenses. But it's just force of habit. I just want to make sure that someone didn't slip the wrong power lens inside that package. Yes, I am a licensed professional. I have my ABO, American Board of Opticians certificate. I have my NCLE, National Contact Lens Examiner certificate but I also have my state board exam which is much more difficult to obtain it has a 19 percent pass rate when I took it it is a state exam I have to get eight hours of continuing education a year to maintain that license it's not just a certificate it's a license look there's some sure so I joke around I take myself I, I, I joke around, but I take myself, my work, seriously, is what I was trying to, I don't know what I'm trying to say. But, I remind everyone that if you are a professional and know what you're doing, you can act a fool. If you have no clue what you're doing and you have to fool people, then you have to act professional. <laughs> so, by the way, this frame sells for $126 in this color. I think there's a couple colors out there that may sell for more. I'll have to double check. So again, if there's another Oakley frog skin you want, just let me know the size and color, and I'll tell you the price and availability. Worst case scenario, any frame that has to come from Luxottica's overseas warehouse, it can take about 10 business days to arrive. So normally about three to four days, worst case scenario, 10 business days. Of course, your lenses, prescription or non-prescription lenses, free. You upgraded to my house anti-glare, which is $44.99. I do offer all the Crizal anti-glare coating, starting at $69 for Crizal Easy, $79.99 for Crizal Alize, $99.99 for Crizal Avance, $119.99 for Crizal Provencia, and the top of the, the Provencia is their blue lock, blocking lens, and $139.99 for Crizal Sapphire. So again, I have the side I'm working on closest to me. I'm not trying to reach across the frame. Christian, pay attention. You might need to do this years from now with, with real prescription lenses when you get old. That's a medical term. I'm not really sure what that means. Old. I hear people use that term on TV a lot. But, so, I'm going to tuck the lens in at the outside corners. Elbows touching my sides. Arms bent at a right angle. Using my thumbs, press down the nose until it snaps right in. Again, if you ever were to change these out, place your thumb at the nose. Your fingers on the other side. Plus just so it doesn't fall on the floor put your thumb on top of the other thumb and I'm gonna use the frame my hand to try and cup the frame and make it pop out easier there you go so again when you get new lenses turn the frame over where the temples are pointed towards the ground tuck it in at the outside corner press down there it snaps right in pop the block off dunk this one <clears throat> add to my sticker collection I'm gonna put it down low Low. <laughs> Read the power. I'm still getting zero. How come I can't get any prescription out of these lenses? Okay, so if these were a prescription, I would read the pupillary distance like so. Never like this. 
sometimes like that occasionally like okay i'll shut up all right so can you tell i'm in a good mood all right so but i'm gonna get these also by the way when you get these in the mail free shipping anywhere in the u.s and especially to washington and any city that happens to be into that state somewhere above oregon and below canada you get free shipping but uh, when you get these in the mail there's a small chance these could fit too loose or too tight however there's an 80 percent chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other that's because 80 percent of people have one ear that is higher than the other and because of that statistic 99 percent of all optical shops will do free adjustments but i'm gonna get these in standard alignment first also known as a three-point stance one two and the bottom of the frame being three i set them on the counter and press down there is no wobble now when i say wobble i normally take off my oakley 8132s color 04 universe blue which happens to be blue and orange these are the cross range switch it's called called that because as you pull down this little lever there when you pull it down that comes off and you can put different color temples on there however when you slide the temple on you're still going to have that orange there so I'm not sure what the purpose of having <laughs> different colors if you're still going to have a little bit of orange hue. But I love me some orange hue. Again, this is called the Universe Blue. I was, I was very disappointed when I found out my Universal Remote did not control the Universe. Not even remotely. Okay, I'll shut up. But when, uh, when I put mine down, these are Pilot Temples. Normally... And always, I have one ear higher than the other, so my glasses wobble. When I take these off, one of my old Ray-Bans, press down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. These are almost self-correcting, and I don't know why that these sit level without having to be adjusted. But again, should you need to get these adjusted, just stop by your local place and tell them. I'm going to flip this over, press down, there is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do, that neither temple is askew. Now... Let me clean these up. So I send out a selfie request in every package. Christian, I would love to have your picture on the website rocking these things at work. And the paint booth where he's going to be wearing these. Now, I also send out cleaning instructions, not only for your frame and lenses, but normally for any hard shell case that, Christian, you don't get. Um, but also for cleaning cloths. The Oakley cleaning cloth, the premium microfiber cloth that I provide. And, yeah, so they will last you for years. No other seller on the internet does that, I am told. I also field test every cleaning cloth before I ship. Hey, hey my buddy just sent me a text. My old buddy from high school. It's good to keep in touch with friends for years and years and years. But I field test every cleaning cloth to make sure that it works. I'm not going to send out a defective cloth. So if you get wrinkles in yours, you know that it works. I just don't have time to reach in my pocket, pull mine out. You don't want me to use mine, do you? Yeah, okay. So that's it. Thanks. For, oh, by the way, if you like what you've seen, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the, I, the bell icon so you can get notified more. If uh, when future Oakley videos come out, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as freeprescriptionlenses.com. On Twitter as freerxlenses. And... Again, I am an authorized Oakley dealer. If there's a frame you want, just email me. Hit the Contact Me button on the website. Tell me which frame you want, the size, the color. I'll get you price and availability. And then tell you what the, ask you what lens options you want. Get you prices on all that. And of course, you get one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses with the purchase of any Oakley frame. I will have a link in the description below on how to, how I do that. But it's pr pretty much I just reiterated. So... Christian in Wanachi, Washington. Thank you so much for the purchase. Yes, I do like caffeinated coffee. Why do you ask? Um, but thank you for the purchase of the Oakley 9013 Frog Skin Color 24, the polished crystal with non prescription fashion lenses with my house anti glare coating. And hopefully, now everyone else has got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.